Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be talking about the newly launched OnePlus Watch 2. So OnePlus has launched their uh, watch series uh, after a pretty long break I would say. The OnePlus watch was launched probably a couple of years back and after that there was no update. Probably we got the OnePlus Nord watch uh, again a uh, couple of years back. In 2022 uh, we got the OnePlus Nord watch but again after last year there was no update. Now we have the OnePlus watch too. This is a Wear OS uh, watch uh, which is powered uh, by uh, dual chip actually. We have a uh, dual chip uh, one is uh, uh, using uh, the Wear OS, the other one is using uh, OnePlus custom UI uh, which gives you incredible 100 hours of battery life that's the claim made by oneplus 100 hours of battery life means almost four plus days of battery life but in reality in our testing we could easily get through three days or three plus days of battery life which is pretty much possible that's again one of the good aspects about the wear os uh, watch by oneplus because most of the watches the pixel watch or the samsung watch or other brand uh, wear os watch gets you like one or two days battery life here you get 100 hours that means almost more than four of four days of battery life now though that's the one plus watch too so let's go uh, deeper into the watch and see how it feels and uh, the uh, the quality the build quality fit and finish and everything about the watch so let's begin so before that if this is your first time on the channel do hit that, that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so this is the watch uh, box and I can see a OnePlus Watch 2 is mentioned. Uh, there are two colors actually. Uh, this is the radiant uh, steel and there is also a black color included. Now you can see here this is the radiant steel and uh, uh, this is Wear OS by Google. So that's the one uh, mentioned here. That's all inside uh, the box. You get the charger, the proprietary SuperVOOC uh, charger or rather the, the 7.5 watt uh, VOOC charger. Now let's uh, talk about the build quality. Now this is where uh, this watch uh, really excels. So you can see here the material uh, quality is really good it's a stainless steel body you can see this is the stainless steel body with sapphire crystal screen that makes it really durable and uh, this also has the military grade certification now the strap is kind of uh, changeable you can see here 22 mm strap you can change it we have the charging port here and the one plus branding as well and uh, all the sensors are included here you can see the strap quality is very good and uh, the uh, you can see here there is a button here so this button allows allows you to uh, get uh, the quick workout modes and here you can navigate so that's the one so you can see the bezels are kept to minimal and uh, this is kind of brushed of finishing the build quality fit and finish looks really premium it's a sapphire crystal and as I mentioned before there is a military grade certification included which means uh, it is uh, tested for premium design and also rugged uh, uh, elegance uh, and as I said before there is two colors black steel and radiant steel so those are the two colors included so this is the 2.5 d sapphire crystal glass uh, which makes it uh, really rugged and uh, this does give a premium feel altogether and this has 5 atm ip68 water resistance and uh, this is a uh, uh, us military grid standard 810 h uh, standard uh, so this means it is really rugged and it can uh, go to tough conditions so so you can go for trekking or uh, extreme weather that uh, option is also included with the military standard so the build quality fit and feel fit and finish look really premium next let's talk about the display now the display actually looks very good it's a 1.43 amoled round display with 466 by 466 pixels uh, screen resolution as i said before 2.5d glass sapphire crystal glass and high brightness uh, it's thousand nits of peak brightness 60 hertz flash rate so that's the display quality you can see the touch response feels very smooth and it's a 2.5d glass you can feel that now this display looks very really uh, vibrant and crisp now let's talk about the software experience the wear OS. so if you swipe from the top you can get the quick toggles here then if you swipe from the bottom you have the notifications here you get all the weather and details then uh, here we have the steps taken heart rate uh, workout modes then uh, sleep time then uh, you can uh, see the heart rate monitoring stress monitoring then uh, calories you can see all the calendar notifications everything these are uh, things which you can customize actually from the app we'll talk about the app in a while so these are the main screens now if you press here you can see here phone you can dial any number using the keypad you can uh, take calls the calls we are taken is really good actually we received a couple of calls uh, during our testing and the speaker performance is pretty good and it, the uh, the mic performance was also crystal clear again these are not very acceptable during uh, uh, 
uh, if you are in a crowded condition but still uh, this works pretty good now the daily activity workouts you can have the play store uh, the compass stress uh, then all the uh, options are there then uh, you have the different uh, workouts here, here you can see here uh, different workouts outdoor and track fat burn lot of things are there included since it's uh, powered by the wear os now you can see the sleep tracking stopwatch uh, flashlight media controls you can uh, manage it now google wallet is there but it's not supported in india youtube music you can install apps uh, from the play store which are compatible with the wear os now uh, apart from that uh, you you have this uh, dual frequency gps l1 and l5 gps is there uh, uh, glona support is also there bluetooth and wi-fi support is also included as i said before this is uh, uh, 5 atm ip68 uh, and uh, this is running on wear os uh, four. Then in terms of sensors, uh, we have the acceleration sensor, gyroscope, optical heart rate sensor, that's here. Then uh, pulse oximeter sensor, light sensor, barometer sensor. So these are the sensors included with this watch. Now one of the important things about this watch is the dual engine architecture. Now what this dual engine does is uh, it has the Snapdragon W5 uh, uh, platform. It's a Wear OS uh, processor. Then uh, you get the BES 2700 uh, chip. So that's a dual engine architecture. Now what it does is uh, it helps in uh, improving the battery life now if you are using the Wear OS then uh, it will be using the Snapdragon W5 platform and uh, if you uh, go to the power saving mode to save the battery it will be using the BES 2700 chip uh, now with uh, if you are full time using Wear OS you need to be with uh, the Snapdragon chip uh, it uh, the Wear OS won't work with the other chip but when you are going to the power saving mode the other chip gets into action and saves the power so that why uh, you get the dual engine architecture as a result you get 100 uh, hours of battery life that's almost close to four plus days so that is something which is good you can you have this smart mode what it does is uh, when you are using wear os app it will be in the uh, the um, the main wear os architecture but if you are not using that it will smartly switch to the other mode thereby saving power so that's the dual architecture now if you want the power saving mode to run all the time say for example you are traveling and you don't want the wear os app you can enable the power saving mode and that time uh, uh, the basic functions will work like the uh, the st uh, steps tracking and all those things will work but uh, uh, the apps from the Wear OS platform will not work in that so that's a power saving mode that's a dual architecture what we are talking about it works really well and as a result uh, the battery life is actually really good we tested this watch and we could get uh, slightly more than three days of battery life even though company claims more than four days we could get slightly above four three days of battery life which is really good for a Wear OS uh, watch because other watches in this segment get to like one day or maximum two days here you get at least three days on an average with uh, all the workout modes so that uh, makes this watch really battery efficient with the dual architecture but again uh, remember when you are going to the power saving mode you won't be able to use the Wear OS apps so next let's talk about the uh, accuracy levels of this OnePlus watch 2 in terms of uh, workouts now we have been using this watch uh, during our workouts uh, the regular workouts uh, the cardio exercises and the regular other workouts the steps taken uh, in the day we have been using this and we are comparing with other watch in the premium segment as well and we found that the, the accuracy levels are quite good actually very uh, almost close to what I uh, did so the accuracy levels of this watch is good the heart rate monitoring is again once again good uh, the workouts so what I've done the treadmill workouts the cardio workouts everything looks very accurate on this so that is one good thing about the watch uh, the uh, the workout modes and the heart rate monitoring and the steps taken are pretty much accurate on the one plus watch too so we connected the watch uh, to the oneplus open uh, we have installed the o health app and you can see the uh, daily details daily activity details heart rate monitoring sleep tracking is there stress everything looks uh, very neatly arranged on the home screen say for example if you click here you get uh, the sleep score deep sleep uh, lights uh, sleep and then uh, remaining and uh, it will uh, show you the sleep score uh, lower percentage of uh, deep sleep uh, you can see here it uh, gives you data on that similarly the stress levels you can see here uh, the detailed uh, information about stress levels the fitness tracking everything looks uh, good on this app then uh, you have this fitness tracking you can go with um, running walking since it has a uh, dual uh, GPS functionality it will accurately uh, show you the location so that is also included then if you go to the uh, device settings you can see here smart mode is activated and the battery life you can go with uh, the watch faces here there are plenty of watch faces being offered here uh, you can uh, actually go ahead and uh, see the watch faces 
so there you go uh, there are plenty of options available and you can also go to the play store uh, if you want more uh, you can go to the play store and uh, uh, download the watch faces and uh, install it on your watch there are paid watch faces there are free watch faces there are plenty of them to customize then uh, tiles uh, here you can customize what all tiles you want in the home screen uh, this is what i was talking about so you can see here i can customize this area this these are called tiles and you can customize what all tiles you want to have uh, on your uh, phone that you can customize here you can add or delete tiles here then uh, notification you can configure whatever notifications you want call notification uh, workout modes then other workout details you can set uh, the goals here whatever steps you need uh, for a daily basis everything uh, looks good you will also get a warning for heart rate uh, if it goes beyond a particular value if you uh, are uh, stressed out a lot then it will uh, send you relaxation reminders spo2 tracking so everything is there uh, on the health uh, aspect then uh, you have the additional settings as well so now we have used this uh, watch to accept calls and uh, uh, the speaker is actually behind here you can see this is the speaker and uh, the speaker quality is pretty good you can increase the volume and set the volume you, the ringtone also uh, you can set it and uh, it's quite loud actually you can accept the call you can dial number from here using the phone app it's pretty good uh, even uh, we accepted calls uh, sitting in our office it was crystal clear even outdoor we accepted a couple of calls it was okay -ish, I would say again if it is a very crowded uh, uh, area then you may not be able to listen properly but you can still uh, uh, listen to calls uh, keeping it in your ears so call quality is good and the mic performance is again once again pretty good now when using the watch outdoor the brightness levels are also very impressive that's one nothing we liked uh, even uh, the the peak brightness is actually thousand nits now if you look at the, the storage and ram you get 32 gigabyte uh, storage and uh, 2 gigabyte ram is the one uh, which supports uh, here now one of the disappointing aspect uh, probably is that it supports only android phone so if you are an iPhone user this is a big disappointment because there is no support for iOS in fact my primary smartphone uh, is uh, uh, an iPhone but then uh, I tried uh, with uh, connecting that uh, the O health app is not supported so there is no support for this device on iOS but if you are using an Android smartphone we tried with a OnePlus open we are able to pair with uh, the O health app and you can uh, configure with uh, oh health and uh, uh, that app uh, does give you a good functionality to manage all the details including watch faces and other stuff we'll talk about that in a while so that's the one of the downsides this is not compatible with uh, uh, the ios platform and uh, if you are using an iPhone, this is definitely not for you. Now, the OnePlus Watch 2 also comes with a 500 milliampere battery. We have talked about the battery previously. Now, the charging. It comes with a 7.5 watt uh, Wook charging. And this can top up the battery in just like uh, 2 to 100 percentage in just 60 minutes. And if you don't have the time to charge up the entire 60 minutes, there is also fast charging. 10 minutes of charging will give you one day of battery life. So, if you just want to charge it up quickly, just power it uh, for 10 minutes and you will get a day of battery life. So, that's the charging support of the oneplus watch 2 so that was my experience with the oneplus watch 2 so overall i would say this watch is pretty good uh, because as of now we don't know the pricing so we can't give a clear verdict on whether it's really great in terms of value but whatever it offers it does uh, provide good experience uh, be it the build quality fit and finish good display quality the software experience is good uh, impressive battery like that's something which we really liked uh, company claims around 100 hours but uh, we got like uh, three plus days of battery life which is pretty good and and that's one good thing about the Wear OS and being a Wear OS uh, platform uh, and uh, with the Snapdragon W5 platform it's a 4 nanometer process that, that's also battery efficient so the combined battery uh, efficiency is really good on this watch so that's one of the good things about this watch and being a Wear OS you can install tons of apps from the Play Store so that flexibility is there you get uh, um, call uh, accepting functionality you can call numbers then app support is there you can customize with watch faces but the disappointing thing is that there is no support for ios that's probably one of the downsides at least for me because if you are an iphone user you may not be able to use this watch because you need an android smartphone to pair with the o health app so that's definitely one of the downsides uh, an app support uh, for uh, ios should be uh, needed uh, for this this premium watch that was my experience using the oneplus watch too so what do you guys think about the watch do let us know your thoughts in the comment section this is normal signing off with the review of the oneplus watch to hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day